Uh, hey everybody, it's Coolidge, and uh, I want to try to do an introduction to Crusader Kings 2. Um, Crusader T Kings 2 is an amazing game. Uh, it's a game of not just conquering the world through making troops and going and taking territory like a lot of strategy games, but it's a game of um, intrigue and plotting and uh, it's it's a soap opera in many respects. Um, this game was created by someone immediately after reading uh, the uh, Song of Ice and Fire series, or at least parts of them that are done. Um, this game was created basically on the same types with this with the, that in mind. So Game of Thrones. Uh, with these characters, you can do a number of things, um, and so we're just going to kind of show some basics here. Um, here's the map. Yep, that's about it. Um, obviously down here we have uh, Islam. Um, we've got some Orthodox here. This is all Catholic, and these are uh, various pagans. You can see that on the religion. Um, there's also, with the newest uh, old gods, or I'm sorry, sons of Abraham, they now also have some Jews. Um, but those are very hard right now to play, so we'll go play as a, a Christian somewhere just to, to show this. Um, now, you can see all these various things that do lots of things. Um, I'm looking for counts, and so what I want to be is a count like this guy. And I'm going to start playing. Now, Iron Man doesn't allow me to cheat and go back, basically. It also allows me to get achievements. Um, so my start date is at 867 and I'm going to start playing. <laughs> Alright, so I am in the middle of the Kingdom of Lothringia. Um, this kingdom right now, uh, here's my my liege. Uh, he is the king. Uh, the Kingdom of West Francia. Is Charles, and you notice here this carling. This guy also is a carling, so is my liege. Now, um, so these are all carlings. Now, this game is not just about you know who controls what territory. It's also a lot of a lot about dynasties. So my dynasty is uh, Chatenois, maybe. Um, and this is me, Count Adelhard. Adelhard? Yeah, that's what we're going with. Um, and I have some attributes. I have low state diplomacy. Um, diplomacy is good for getting other people to like you. I have good martial. Um, martial is good, obviously, for combat ability, but also for raising troops. Uh, stewardship. Uh, this is good for collecting taxes and also good for your uh, uh, the size of your realm that you can directly control. Like right now I only have one barony which is uh, in the county of Metz I have the barony of Thornville. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great. Uh, me trying to say things. Um, see here, I, there's three holdings currently. You can build new ones if you have a lot more money than I do. Um, and if, if I wanted to build another one, I could be the baron of that one as well. Or I could have, you know, let's say that I own this one as well. I would then be the Count of Metz and the Count of Lorraine. Anyway, 
Um, intrigue. This is for backstabbing type things, for plots, uh, learning. This is for technology. So, here we are. Um, I ha I'm a Midas Touched. And you can see that that's uh, pretty good. It gives, it's, it's got four pips at the bottom here. Um, I'll show you all those things in a second. Um, increases fertility, learning, stewardship, and martial at the expense of just one diplomacy. Unfortunately, I'm arbitrary, which is decreasing my st stewardship and learning. I'm also envious. I am brave, though, and um, this one's bad. I am slothful. Um, now, as you can see, these are these are deadly sins here, um, and they have uh, they have an, there's also virtues that go along with uh, uh, their opposites. Now, if we see here, I have a couple of vassals. As you noticed, I'm the Count of Met of Metz with this particular barony. I have these two people are under me, so under my vassals, I have the bishop. And his opinion of me, he doesn't like that I'm slothful. He doesn't like that I'm, and uh, he's kind while I am envious. He's diligent while I am slothful. So all these things add up to him really not liking me. Uh, same with this guy. He also does not like me. So, what to do about those things? Well, um, I have a son who also hates me. I have a daughter who likes me, which is nice, I guess. Um, women in this game are not entirely useful. <laughs> they, you know, it's better to have a son. You have to remember this is the year 867 here. So, when we start off, uh, what am I going to do? Well, um, why don't we see some of these buttons? This is independent realms, so the, there's no one over the king of Lothringia. No, he owes allegiance to no one. There's no one over the king of East Francia. Um, that's what that means. If you go to diplomatic relations, then we can see me. And we can see where I have claims to. These are places I can go attack for various reasons. I can attack my liege, and that's going to be I'm right clicking there. Going to be for independence or to get rid of them. I can also um, attack over here against this guy. Because I have a claim on the county of Paris. Now I'm not going to do that because that would be stupid. Um, as I have this is it's, it's kinda hard to find this if you're not the top dog here. But we have to go, this is me, and we can see here that my total levy size, the second number down, is 286. Now, I do actually have a substantial amount of men compared to my liege, which is weird, but um, that's how much I get. So, in this game, you have few different ways to get troops. One is your levy. Uh -uh. So these guys come from right in here. You can increase them by buying stuff. Uh, like militia training game ground, which is really good. They'll give you 90 more guys. Um, so you have a garrison that's always going to be defending there. And then you have the levy, which is there to defend so long as they're not um, taken out. But I can, uh, I can raise this levy here. There's my guys. Um, the bish because the uh, bishop hates me, he's not going to give me any. Um, the town, they also hate me, and he doesn't want to give me any of his troops either. Um, so that's all the troops I have, because my vassals hate me. Um, let's see. Next button... Religions, obviously, a lot is Catholic. Now there can be different heresies and stuff like that. That comes up. It's kind of neat. Um, cultures. So uh, over 
Lothringia is Frankish, or should be. Over here, it's a lot of Germans. Obviously, that that happens. Even though, the, but the liege is Frankish, which is why it's got this mixed thing. There's also some Dutch up there, Ossetian, Italian, etc., etc. Economy. Um, this will show you where the profitable profitable places are. No surprise, Constantinople. Great. And uh, over here, not so great. De jour duchies. Now, de jour meaning, you know, this is the natural order of things, at least at the time. Um, so this is Lower Lorraine. It's these four duchies here. Okay, and if I click on this guy, I can click de jour, and I am in the duchy of Lower Lorraine. There is no current duke of Lower Lorraine, but if there was, the duke would be in control of these four counties. And similar to me having these vassals, um, at this level, as a count, if I was a duke, I would have counts as my vassals. So, that's what that is. Um, now, let's say that I was a duke, and I owned these ones, and I owned this one. And uh, this duchy here, the Duchy of Upper Lorraine, which makes a lot of sense, Lower, upper. Oh well. I'm sure it's with the rivers. Um, after a hundred years, this would, uh, this Lorraine here would merge into the Duchy of Lower Lorraine, I believe. Um, same thing happens at the kingdom level. If um, so as you can see, here's Lothringa. This is the current du jour. But if you go to independent realms, it also includes down here. If after 100 years this hasn't changed and this is still here, this will become the du jour borders of Lothringia. So that's the current du jour kingdom. Here's the du jour empires. Now, these things aren't don't exist. And you can tell this guy he's the jour of the Holy Roman Empire obviously so Lothringia is right in here de jour um, the kingdom of Fr Phrygia doesn't even exist uh, to create this you need to have a bunch of stuff including 80% of the counties need to be under you before you create that then you would have kings as vassals which is, which is good but bad um, revolt risk, uh, green's good, this is not as good, for them anyway. Uh, here's the dynasties, so, like, as I noted earlier, Carlings are in charge of everything over here. Opinions, uh, this is other people's opinions of me. If I click over here, this is other people's opinions of that person, etc., etc., but it defaults to you. Um, Nobody really likes me. Direct vassals, that doesn't really do anything. Public trade zones, they don't have any setup right now, but they see some things down in here as Venice expands. And that's the family trade zones, so the same thing. So, uh, I'm going to take a break right now, and in the next video, we'll actually do something. Okay, thanks.